Right, hello everybody. Welcome to game number seven uh, versus Kemri. And missing the uh, the Troll Slayer. Oh my god, he's got a he's got a pommer. Oh no. Alright, not missing a troll slayer. It is worse by the match. Fancy fucking playing uh, playing two fucking Camry teams with this. Is he streaming? He must be, right? Because these are like use these are like Twitch usernames and this is for stream. He's got a block mighty blow palm and a guard. He's three two one. I think it's definitely worth a troll slayer. <laughs> yeah, it's been like that for ages already, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. What are the most TV efficient teams in the game? I would say Dwarves and Chorks. Oh. That seems fair. Oh, Soul Fist. Names on the team. There's a lot of people on this list now. <laughs> it should be a command to see to see the list, and then before you before you pay the things, I guess. Matto's on three times. Chaos Willie's on twice. Lemon's good twice. Frost Lord Army twice. Mega Cat and Lucky Lucas. Probably not Char, Crude Remo and Sophus. Punching some skeletons. Yeah, Amazon's a TV efficient for sure. Woody's are once they get like, you know, low TV, but they do blow up because you get the apple and you get the third reroll and everything and positionals, whatever. But um Norse can be, yeah. Norse can be. If you forego positionals, then Norse can be. Right, I like this actually, putting uh, guaranteeing the runner for offense. Seems pretty good. Split up his Tomb Guardians. Uh, but generally, yeah, Chorfs. I mean, Chaos can't. Like, any team can be, right? Chaos. N uh, Nurgle can be, like, the most TV efficient team in Blood Bowl 2. Because you can just have a team of, uh, a team of, like, 10 Rotters and 2 Pestigals. With 2 Claw Pommers. <laughs> and, uh, 2 Regen Claw Pommers. And a bunch of Rhinos. So it just depends, doesn't it? The gif you posted in the shed. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. That's very good. Ce joueur fait approximativement la même taille que son adversaire. 
Yeah, that's fine, Dark Throne. He's not the fastest player in the world, is he? It's only 30 seconds, but it, it feels like two minutes already. <laughs> Do you know what? When I play fucking Camry with Wood Elves, they fucking always make the pickups. And it's against fucking dwarves when they fuck it up, and it doesn't matter. Blitzing this Thrower is not bad, is it? But then don't have fucking Pom or anything, so is it even worth it? Probably not. Just punches Skellington. Maybe a bit too high at that side. We should put more down here. Mm -hmm. I'm too scared for that Wolf Ajax. <laughs> Instant power. He's not getting forward though. Fucking slow, isn't it? To be fair. Y a plus qu'à se pencher pour ramasser le ballon. Enfin, y a qu'à. Je suis optimiste. I said I was always going to stay there so I could have blitzed this guy and then chained that guy out. Oh, well, he's going to be there anyway. Maybe not. No, not there. No. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Il s'est fait poutrer. C'est bien comme ça que disent les jeunes de nos jours, non? Ça 
Didn't want to put a guy up there. Need that one. Now it looks like you're going to do a foul, doesn't it? These two over here looks like a fouling situation. Come on, sent off for a stone. Maybe nine thick skull. Let's go. No, it's a cast. Of course it is. He's dead. Yeah, rare. A rare good apple. That's true. Wasn't really that relevant with it having the extra reserve as well, but I just thought he's dead. I don't want him to be dead. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have appled that. But the guys are just one skill, aren't they? So it's not really worth appling them. Instant no cars here. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Still hasn't crossed the halfway line on <laughs> turn five. So that's good. I like that this loner has taken out a Tomb Guardian for the entire game just by lying down. <laughs> it's been pretty, pretty good. Put him in there, 1D him. 
2D him, 2D him. No, but it's harder to 2D him with that guard in there. Where does the blitz come? Oh no, he just punches him. Okay. I still like this guy being over here though. Du corps à corps. Je sens que ça va me plaire. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Allez les gars, tous ensemble. Oh, maybe he go. Maybe these two go in there, and then the troll slayer blitzes, and then he blocks him. Oh yeah! Hello, Calcium. Read it. Fuck it. Parfois, dans un duel, esprit contre muscle, c'est les. Don't want to score now, though. <laughs> How old calcium? How hyped are you for uh, the fucking our group, by the way, and uh, K Fog's League? Incredible. Hello, Lean Gary. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing barbed wire on his face. <laughs> Incredible group. Oh, tonight. Oh, glorious. Oh, I'll cast that then. Unless you two are. It's <laughs> well, you're both streamers anyway, aren't you? So I guess. There's no need for me to cast it if you two are both streaming it yourselves, potentially. But a big boo! <laughs> Shawnee streaming one frame at a time. He's not in range with him, so I just need to get someone back to blitz him. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, slideshow Bob, isn't he? Oh man, look at this asshole with his 4 plus dodge. I should have done the one day on him. Journeyman. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. Ugh. That's pretty annoying. This fucker getting there. It's not like it's not the end of the world, but it's pretty annoying. I guess I just blitz him. Hills? 
Him uphilling with the reroll is better than him GFIing without. Three words. Shut up, cunt. I guess just stay there right till there's someone back. Yeah, fucking. That's the problem with dwarves, isn't it? They are movement four, so you don't have to be terrible to have to make some GFIs with them. Yeah, it would have been really nice to GFI there, but he would just 2D and then do this anyway, so. Oh, except he wouldn't have had an assist. Oh, yeah, he would have knocked you to 2D'd him to there. No, he's doing exactly the same thing, it's just he's hitting him instead of him. So it really matter. Regular dwarfs are like the basilisk, proud and strong. <laughs> Jim's dwarfs are like my trouser snake, short and soft Jim S.A.D. <laughs> Thanks, Adant. Oh, Uncle Sherman, that's great. <laughs> oh, dear me. I've got another one, Bendrig. Mm. I'm sorry if I don't respond to things in the, uh, the notifications instantly. No, I haven't done anything. Oh no, he, he got the guy sent off. <laughs> No removals for Jim. He's made two removals. Right, I can only get a 1D on the ball though, can't I? Which is disappointing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI. Um, could chain him to here, maybe. But if I don't, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI, GFI. No, so... I think do some safe moves first. When I say safe, of course, I mean risky, because any they can fail. But <laughs> I wanted to get these guys on here to make scatter catches harder and to just generally help out. Guard on there is good, isn't it, for if this is a push. Moves I put in the second guard as well, but then he's to react if the ball scatters. I guess he could react to a ball scatter. Not very well. Except the push, pushing it there and put guard in there, then but then he can just chain, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Ball's a noob trap. No, it's not. Because he can just dodge if I don't go for the ball. Great. Maybe I should have accepted the push. <laughs> it's just too easy, though. It's just too easy for people to, um, to score otherwise. Even if I had both guards in there. No, actually, both guards would have probably been alright, wouldn't it? Maybe I should have taken the push and put in both guards. But you know, you got you could free up you could free up things and stuff. Yeah, it probably was. I'm tired. It wasn't greed, it was just stupidity. Because I thought about putting the guard on him. I thought it wouldn't be enough because I thought he just blitzed with him. 
But it was, you know, it would. It was, it was, it was too easy. Honestly, that, uh, only a skull was bad. Like that was a one in six. He had a better one in, better than a one in six of just uh, blitzing with the fucking tomb guardian or whatever. Nah, I'm, I'm not sure that was wrong. I am not sure that was wrong. Because even if he doesn't agility one dodge to blitz with a tomb guardian, that's still like 50 50, isn't it? That's still like not bad. So. <laughs> yeah, Phil Devil was wrong. But I think a lot of people underestimate how uh, how easy it is. Yeah, exactly. That's easy, FD. I mean, that is really easy, isn't it? Because <laughs> he had a reroll. So what? What's that? So what, that that's if I don't put in the double guard. If it's just one guard, it's that which is easy. Um, let's see how easy it is. It was it, he was eighty six percent to score if I'd taken the push. <laughs> so you know, I just say it's a one percent play. Yeah, that's true. Hello, Hargrim. Uh, is it that easier just to say it's a one percent play? Yeah, there's no point in ever playing safe because <laughs> your opponent might have an edge five. <laughs> and five leap strip baller. <laughs> Who is mental dice if he rolls twos with? <laughs> that is true. Oh, this is a. Uh... Oh, I could go for the one turn. Do I go for the one turn? With no re rolls? <laughs> it, that's well documented as being a 1% player. Didn't you know that, Shawnee? I feel like going for the one turner is just going to get my runner killed. I'm not going to go for it because I don't want my runner to get killed. I think that's quite reasonable. I feel like the runner would definitely die. In fact, the runner is going to avoid a rock. <laughs> uh, is there anybody on five? No, he can go and get a completion, maybe. Yeah, that's the thing in it, Shoney. Yeah, it's like people really do underestimate how how likely everything is. Hey. Oh yeah, hitting it. But I had thought about it, and I thought it was the right player. And then I just thought more afterwards. <laughs> I think it was the right play. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. But I still think it was the right play. It was just like, it was just second guessing myself after it failed, really. But yes, I should have worked out the exact odds and everything and thought of everything first. Obviously, I should have done. Obviously, I should have done. But, um... Oh, yeah, I should have fouled, shouldn't I? Because I had the reserve. Shit! Yes, Lean Garrett. Oh, silly Jim. 
I even have the lawn on the field to do the foul as well. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, I've got so much guard I couldn't be bothered to count it, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I should have mapped it all out first. Obviously, I should have done. Yeah, but instinctively, I knew that even you know, even if he had, even if he had to, uh, you know, even if I double based with a guard and forced him to make the uh, tomb guardian dodge, he's still more likely to make the tomb guardian dodge than I am to roll a skull, isn't he? You know. So. So you know, it's. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, I still think it was the right play, even without thinking about it. <laughs> because for sure, that's what pe people absolutely 100% underestimate. Um, how how easy it is to score mad lab things. <laughs> the pulse we can view worked up directly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, high kick anyway. Well done, kick off return. Useless skill. <laughs> Unless you cheat with it. <laughs> Which I'm not going to. The reason that I used the uh, touchdown foul was so that it would get fixed. Whereas kickoff return is not going to get fixed, so I'm not going to use it because I'm not a cunt. I can't even blitz, can I? Well, I mean, I can, but I don't want him. Yes, Tiddy Fowling was amazing and fun. That's true. That is true. Hello, Destro. I do love a bit of doves, but it's not my fault. It was Shawnee. Shawnee, Shawnee paid in channel points for them gym shards. Shawnee has played his gym shards for one game from Jim. He's got six. He's got his money's worth. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Shoney picked dwarves, and so far he's had seven games out of it. <laughs> Indeed, a done, yeah. The good thing is that everyone's stockpile of gym shards is going to be depleted, isn't it, quickly with banning Fault Force, so that I think it, it'll become alright soon. It won't be constant, constant banning of Fault Force. Forever. <laughs> Shunter not top. Fine's good done well, I mean. Seventeen four zero. <laughs> yeah. Actual BB advice question. Strength line line or um I would rather put a black orc there, yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey! Instant no regen, and also that means a guard can go in and blitz him, 
Not that it's that amazing thing to do. The Blitzer's Throw right there. Okay, not that it's an amazing thing to do. Just gotta go for the 1-1 one, one, I think, haven't I? Yeah, I don't think I can try it away. Do that as a little bit of a sideline play, just to see what happens. go here so it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, dwarves are very fun and very interactive, aren't they? Kind of. People are wasting them. <laughs> no, it's not wasting them. That, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like... People, people have loads saved up, so, so that's what I'm. What I'm hoping is, people are like dumping a shitload of them to, to keep Fault Four's perma ban, which is which is funny, but I think it's going to become okay for him once they're de once those reserves are depleted. No, I wish I fucking hadn't rolled a skull. Maybe I should have taken them. Push. Maybe I shouldn't have blitzed the ball, maybe I should have blitzed the guy behind. Because then there could have been a screen. Maybe I should have blitzed the guy behind, I don't know. I don't know what... It'd be interesting to find out the best odds, wouldn't it? Like that play. Because there's got to be a right answer for that turn, hasn't there? There's got to be one sequence of moves that gives the best odds, has to be, assuming that your opponent plays optimal, which is a big assumption to be fair, <laughs> having played CCL, well not even CCL, Blood Bowl before, assuming that your opponent is going to make the optimal move is not always the correct thing, but, um, One, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yeah. He wants to go there. He wants to go there. Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leur coéquipier. Smashing the bits make us go. All right, give, give us a minute, and then I'll. <laughs> All right, he wants to go. To, um, fuck, these want to swap places. I want to do a GFI then at the end. Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. Hey, le one deep out. Twin Pon fucking blue. If it goes there, I can't really base the ball, can I? So maybe I don't have to make the GF, can I? He could derp him. Yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Underworld are just good at, as good at dying as Skaven are, but they're substantially less good at winning. I like Skaven a lot, but getting smashed to bits makes me sad. What do you recommend? It's a bit less AVB, but can still do Skaven esque things. I mean, what what else does Skaven esque things really? At the end of the day, high elves, but they need so many skills on their on their catchers. Wood elves, but they they've only got a tree that makes them less AV seven. But they also the linemen can dodge, which makes them in a way less armor seven. But Skaven esque. But Wood Elves still don't get a claw pommer, right? <laughs> and High Elves don't get a claw pommer. And Dark Elves don't get a claw pommer. So like Skaven things is 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 pretty fucking hard to beat. <laughs> Ah, plim plum plu. Frustration reroll? No, surely not. Oh. Outrageous. Well deserved non AV break. Ooh, didn't push him to the sideline, nice. Right. I want to come around here now, because this guard can get us a uh, punch there and a blitz there. In the other half of the pitch, let's fucking go. Oh, double scrolls. Not quads. Outrageous. Cheeky AV break. Yeah, I guess humans. Yeah, I guess humans are like really shit. Skaven, aren't they? It's a 1D, but this is a G if I make it a 2D. I like those odds. Oh, and it's a push! Oh, oh yes! And now two Tomb Guardians are stranded on the wrong side! <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, Dark Elves are kind of better humans in general, but, you know, scave, humans are the closest to Skaven you can get, right? Catchers are like terrible gutter runners, and Blitzers are like bad storm vermin. <laughs> but they've got they've got armor eight and they've got more strength access and stuff. So Ogre's a good roger, yeah. And human linemen are like good skaven linemen. <laughs> so, but the positionals are way worse. Imagine if humans could have mutation access. <laughs> Mutations on double for human blitzers would make uh, would make humans really good, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's true. Elves and delves. And wells. Wells have more armour, don't they, really? By having uh, by virtue of having the tree. I hate movement seven nine O's without edge four wing. I think it's shit. I'd much rather have six three three eight. If I was using Skaven and I could replace the Skaven Linos with Orc Linos or Human Linos, I absolutely would. 
que ces troncs d'arbres qui lui tiennent lieu de bras, c'était un peu court d'avance. The, the classic one in nine. Glorious. Uh, chaos. <laughs> For sure. And, I mean, the others you wouldn't want to replace wholly, would you? I would definitely want Orc Linos available for any team. For sure. Because I would just like three Orc Linos to go on the LOS for most teams. Wood Elves. I'd still have Orc Linos to go on the LOS for Wood Elves. But I would still, I wouldn't want to replace all of them. And I would like three Orc linemen on a Chaos team. If I could still have, if I could still have, uh, yeah, if I could, if I could not fully replace them, it would be lots of teams. <laughs> if it wasn't fully replaced. Um, but yeah, obviously fully replace. Um, looks a bit. Shit. Il faut en découdre mano à mano, Bob. Pas pour ça. Il faut se rapprocher jusqu'à sentir la laine de l'adversaire et voir les insectes coller entre ses dents. Mm, things are getting a bit fucking hairy now, aren't they? Got to base him before, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Let's do this first. Oh God! There's a. There's a Tomb Guardian there. Oh, of course it's a one. Instant one. The first GFI of the game, probably, on offense. And it's a double one. <sighs> Boy. Maybe I just need to stand next to him and not care about the uphill. Right, I guess I just had to stand there. I didn't have to do that GFI, did I? I could have just stood there and just not be and just been uphill. So that was just dumb of me. So there you go, played shit, lost. Perfect. Perfect. Justice is served. <laughs> Play shit and lose. Good for me. Hello, Gazbat. <laughs> It's what I'd like to happen 80% of the time in, in call, in CCL even, so there you go. <laughs> Feels good to be right. Yeah, well I thought, you know, he's next to my, I can still clear him next turn, right? I wanted to get away from him, but I guess I shouldn't have done. Could have just stood there, he couldn't punch him. Yep, GFI's always fair, you should never make him, should you? You should never make a GFI. Never make a block, never make a GFI, never make a dodge. <laughs> this could be a dead team now, yeah, with 3 4 2 1 looks crap, doesn't it, really? But I mean, might still play them, I don't know. Get fucked, idiot, it stands for Wayne Ferrer. Le <laughs> yep. He wasn't going to uphill blitz, was he? Without block versus a block player. Even if he did it, it was unlikely to work. Should have just not GFI. Stupid. And then also, there's, there wouldn't have been wouldn't have been based by Tomb Guardian the next turn either. Because Shawnee redeemed the uh, one game from Jim Wayne Farah. And so far, Shitair Shawnee has got uh, seven games out of them, and it might only be seven. It might only be seven. This might be the end of the dwarf run. And then might start a new team tomorrow. 
Hey, 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 this is a one in nine. Well, the fact that you um, the fact that you ought to injure them, I would uh, I would still have orc linos because they they've got two more armor, but I'd probably have a uh, skaven lineman overthrown anyway, just because they just because they're better, aren't they? This is a shit show, really, isn't it? Only got one man off, and he's only got one man off. But uh, just out of position, played crap, deserved to lose. Good for me. Start with an uphill. Because I lost the ball for no reason. Brilliant. Ugh. Well, that, that, it can work that way as well, BZO. People, whoever whoever pays for it can have whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, win, yeah. Yeah, the armor isn't that valuable on the thrall, seeing as you are auto-injuring them anyway. So, I, they're just they're just super cheap, aren't they? I would definitely have three. On on pretty much any team, I would have three orc linos. But for seventy k, you get dwarf linos. I'd probably have three dwarf linos. Or ch I mean, chops aren't really linos, so. Three chaffs would be pretty good on any team, wouldn't they? But then you get the foul as well with your old linos because they're only fifty k. It is. It generally, I mean, it is better than AV, yeah. But yeah, long beards are obviously better for when they get twenty k more. But they are still movement five and agility three, which means they can do stuff. So you know long beards you really don't want to dodge with them do you and they really they really can't score very well whereas all linos can do that no sauras sauras would be the best linos if i could have a team of 11 sauras and two rerolls i totally would holy shit that'd be amazing holy shit yeah, Sora's are pretty good, aren't they? Oh, Tomb Guardians are pretty good as well. Three Tomb Guardians just stand on the LOS. But they're, you know, so Tomb Guardians are pretty good. But it's still more than, I mean, Dwarves, you know, lots of people GFI a lot with Dwarves. Dwarves are really, really are slow. Eleven Tomb Guardians, that'd be a pretty good team. But you can't, you can't afford them, that's the thing. So you can't afford them, whereas you can start with 11 Saurus, right, 80, 80, and then rerolls for 60. So you could start, you could totally start a team with two rerolls and 11 Saurus, which would be fucking awesome. I think we might have to give up on the win here. <laughs> yeah, Skaven Thrower for sure. Skaven Thrower for sure. No, it's the Skaven Thrower. Regardless of team. Like, obviously in the team comp, the Skaven Thrower isn't that good. 
but if you could just have a Skaven Thrower on a human team, you would totally have a Skaven Thrower on a human team. You wouldn't, if you could choose a Skaven Thrower or a human Thrower, then you would choose the Skaven Thrower every time, or you're just wrong. <laughs> Unequivocally wrong. There is no... There are two opinions. Um, Underworld Thrower has... has, uh, has uh, what's it called? Animosity, so it's not strictly better. No, they're the same, Wayne. They're both 70. <laughs> In my personal opinion. Yep. They're both 70k, yeah. <laughs> they're both 70k. I mean, like, human linos and scaven linos are the same, aren't they? So, they're both just alignment, they're passing to your hands. That's true, that's true, Shawnee, but <laughs> if you wanted them to be a thrower, <laughs> you would also take a scaven thrower. <laughs> and you would also never take a Norse thrower on a Norse team. You would, however, take a Norse thrower on, like, a Kemri team or whatever. But a Skaven throw would be better, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, a human throw is way better than an orc thrower. It was also 70k. And he's just worse. Strictly worse, isn't he? Mr. Th Mr. Throw is strictly worse than a human thrower. Yeah, throw rise on agility too, and he's still worse. <laughs> Even if you you know you can't, he's not allowed in the conversation because he's too bad. But should I just out of spite try to stop him scoring, even though it doesn't do me any favors? Might as well. <laughs> Good. The spite stop score, classic. Don't know what he said. He said something foreign. Should I reply with plim plum plu? Ha ha ha! Oh, I need two ha ha's. That's not racism. I'm just speaking French to him. No? No, I shouldn't speak French to him. Okay, I won't speak French back to him. Hello. <laughs> I'm not gonna Brexit means Brexit. Oh yeah, it is. It is spent hon hon hon. Yeah, that's right. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's, of course it is. They don't pronounce the ends, do they? <laughs> yeah, that is how you spell it, yeah. Sorry, I, I failed my, uh, <laughs> failed the, uh, what little French I knew then. <laughs> yeah, the Orc Thrower does get picked in a lot of Orc, three, and orc teams. I don't know about most, but the Orc Thrower gets probably picked more than Skaven Thrower, right? <laughs> Hello, little bass. <laughs> um, I, I I would imagine that the orc thrower gets picked more than Skaven thrower. But if also if you could have a gutter runner on an orc team, <laughs> that would be pretty fucking amazing, wouldn't it? A gutter runner would be taken on every single team that could. Every single team in Blood Bowl would have an, would have a gutter if they could. Every single team would have a gut runner, even if it was not the one. Every single, every single team would have a gut runner if it could. Unlimited league. Oh yeah, we didn't finish it, did we? I don't even know if half the people are still still around. <laughs> could try to ping everyone to see if they're still around to finish it off. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't cancel it. It's just that it just kind of died out, didn't it? It was it was at the time when I was ill and didn't want to play at all. And I, they're up there, aren't they? I mean... Because you might not... You might not have a war dancer. I think everybody would have a war dancer on their team if they could. But you might not. Whereas you would, you're just wrong if you don't want to gut it. Because the, the one turn is... Is the thing, isn't it? The one turn is the thing. You might not want 
a werewolf on your team because it's a lot of TV, you know, and it's uh, it's good. Obviously, werewolves are good. Blood dancers are good. But there, there's a case for not having them, whereas there's no case for not having one GR. You have to have one GR, or you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree, Adev. Who said that? Potentially, the I think the Woody Catcher is is potentially better because um, because it, if it gets double movement, then it's just better than a movement sprint gutter runner, isn't it? And if it gets and it gets edge, and if it gets edge instead of like two two heads or whatever, so. Yeah, it can be. Hey! Turok! Turlock Dinosaur Hunter gets to level up, but it doesn't matter because Lost and the team's probably dead. But anyway, he played well. I don't think I played well that game. Um, but I think I was a bit unlucky stopping, not stopping his score. Um, and probably a little bad, I shouldn't have GFI. But even if I hadn't GFI'd, it was still going to be hard to score, wasn't it? Camry were a tough matchup for Dwarves, to be fair. Didn't help missing the mighty blow, did it? Right, I don't know if this is the end of the team. It might be, might not be. Um, but hey, that was a bit of fun, isn't it? Five guard. <laughs> we'll see. Might carry on, have some games with it for fun, even if even if Top Dwarves is no longer realistic for this team. But still, might carry on playing some games with it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.